Yo, so last night I was just searching through YouTube how to make random and dope as Photoshop edits and I came across a video like this. Um, I actually um, don't remember who made it, but um, you could just Google that shit and you'll probably see, you know, because it's actually not that hard to find. But I was like, holy shit, this shit looks dope as hell, so I wanted to give it a shot and my outcome was this. Well, it did give me a few shots to get used to it because it was something new for me. And as you guys can see, uh, I tried it with here and I also tried it with a car. Now, this didn't turn out bad, but I didn't. it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, so... Uh, I gave it another shot this morning, and I came up with this. Now, this, in my opinion, is probably one of my best edits so far, because it's just something new, and I've never done anything like this before, so I was like, hey, this shit's kind of cool. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do this shit. It's actually really easy. Like, some of you guys probably already know how to do this, just by looking at the layers, but if you guys don't, I'm going to show you how to do this. So, we're going to use the same photo. Um, actually, I think I have to get rid of that. I don't know if I have to get rid of this. Right, let me see. Let me just go open up. Let me open up the uh, picture. All right. I can't. All right. So I'm good. Now, once you uh, load in your picture, um, you know, I don't really know what picture um, you guys, like, can do. I mean, you can do anything you want. There's nothing that you need to do. Like, it don't matter what size it is and shit like that. It's just as long as there's, like, a, 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 a object in there that you can obviously tell what you're trying to show. Okay, alright, so once you have your picture, you want to make a new layer. So you want to do that, and first off, double click on the background and make it as a layer. That way you can move it up and down. So, now, we're going to go to layer 1 right here, and we're going to make it a gradient. So we're going to go to this circle shit down here, and we're going to go to gradient. And we're going to go black and white, and go to uh, radial, and then, oh wait, reverse, and then... It depends on how your photo is, but I recommend around 228, 230-ish for this size. So now that we've done that, now we're going to put this on top. And now we're going to add a layer mask to this photo. We're going to click this square or uh, rectangle shit. Edit, fill, and black. Alright, now you can't obviously see it. And now here's where the fun begins. Now as you guys can see, there's a brush in my freaking hands, as you can see on the screen. Um... You don't have to use this brush, but I recommend using that brush because it just it shows more of the player or whatever you're doing. But I'm gonna link it in the description, so just look down there and it should be um, one of those links. So all you gotta do is download it. I'll also show you guys how to download it because I get so many questions like that. So uh, once you have your brush, there's actually a lot of them that will download, such as this one, this one. Actually, the last like six right here or seven. Um, so we're going to be using this one, and we're just going to simply click it just to see where the photo is. So we're going to do it like right here, and then we're going to swap it. So let me, hold up. Let me go here. Let me see how I did that. All right, so I did one across. All right, so I did one right here, and I also did one the other way, like that. Now I'm going to flip it, actually, like that. All right. Um, actually, let me get more of the ball in there. Let me. Let me make it bigger. Just like that. Okay, that so looks a little too big. Make it a little smaller. Alright, I'm just going to leave it like that. And then we're going to go to this other brush right here. Oh, that, that looks like a sperm egg or some shit. I, did I just say sperm egg? What the fuck am I thinking? That's like two different things. But anyway, so we're going to go here. And we're going to use this brush we're gonna make this shit small we don't want this one big and we're just gonna see how it looks that doesn't look too bad all right we're gonna do like that apply one right there and also to the ball and down here get his leg in there a little bit show the nike sign oh now you don't want to do too much like you don't want to really show the photo but obviously you can't really prevent that if you can't so um obviously this doesn't look anything near like this but um you know you can do whatever you want now, what if I change it now? You can't. All right, so. Um, you know what? I'm actually going to restart this. I don't really like the way that turned out. So, actually, no. I liked I liked um, the first one I did. That one. All right, so I'm going to go back to that one. I'm going to go back to that brush real quick. By the way, guys, it's been a long-ass time since I've talked to you guys. Uh, I mean, on YouTube, but on Instagram, I've been uh, active as shit on both of my accounts. So uh, make sure you guys do follow me on there because I do talk to you guys a lot and uh, answer DMs and shit like that. So 
Um, I get a ton of DMs every day, so if I don't answer you, that's why. And also, I'm really busy every day, so. All right, so let's see what we can do here. I'm going to change it up a little bit. Um, I guess I'm going to do that. I can always go back if I wanted to. All right, I'm not going to use that brush. All right, so we're going to go back to this brush. Make that shit small. And something like that. All right, that doesn't look too bad. All right, I'm going to go down a little bit. Um, all right, you know what? I'm going to keep it like this. Because that, that looks a little cool. But I'm also going to delete a little bit. So I'm going to go back to the brush I just used. I'm going to get the eraser tool. I'm just going to do that. Um, I'm going to go around the places I don't really want. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Now, I should have done this earlier. But it don't matter when you want to do it. But now I'm going to basically black out the background except for the jersey. Now, this doesn't have to be perfect. Because it's, in my opinion, it adds more to the, um, the photo. Or the edit. So, you you know, you can leave a little bit of the uh, jersey black and white, but not too much. So, let's see how I can do this. Let's go here. Uh, get as much of the jersey I can. I don't want to get his skin. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Alright, now I'm going to go back and get rid of the skin. Alright, now I'm just going to hit black and white. Oh, shit. Oh, make sure you're on the layer. And black and white. Oh, shit. I did it the wrong way. Head ass. I, no, 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 no. I didn't. No, I didn't. So I hit control J. And then I blacked out this one. Okay, there we go. And then I merged down. And I think I hit apply. Yeah, just hit apply once that shows up. Um... Was there a difference in anything? Let's see. There was a little bit, but it's not much. Let me see how that looks. Actually, I can't. That shit's already done with. So, I think if I remember correctly, this is what you do. You just merge down, apply, or preserve. Let's see what that means. I don't know what the hell that means. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me black out the image real quick. Um, am I still talking? Is the mic still working? Yes, it is. All right, cool. Let's go here. Merge down, preserve. Ah, there you go. So make sure you hit the P word, all right? So now once you've done that, now we're going to add dynamic pop, which is an adjust. Right there. Dude, that looks like a cool photo right there. Holy crap. Uh, now you can add it how much as you want. I'm just going to do it once. Um, and I think we're done. Actually, no, we're not. So you don't have to do this. I did just because it looked cool or looked cooler. So what I did was I added this photo. Um, you guys probably can't see it now, but um, I added this photo because it made the photo look a lot cooler. As you can see, this is without it, and this is with it. It just whitens out the background a little bit, and it also pops up the uh, little um, effects of the brush. So it's up to you guys. You don't have to do that, but I did. And let's see what else I need to add. That's really it. Um, is it, what is that? Oh, okay. This is also optional. If you want to add this gradient right here, let me show you guys. Uh, it's this one, and then I think it's on hue. Yeah. Um, there's not really much of a difference, but it's it's it looks a little cool. And we're gonna put it on 40. The opacity to 40, just like that. And there you guys go. But um, one of the main um things that I recommend here is adding a script um watermark. This adds the look of the edit, just because, you know, it looked weird with just a regular water water uh, mark, as you can see here. It just doesn't look that cool. So, what I did was get a script font. It doesn't matter which one you use, but I'm going to use this one. It's called Beast Form. It, it, yeah, Beast Form. And we're going to make it bigger. And we're going to put it right in the corner right here. And we're going to add a shadow. And there you guys go. So I recommend that, but here's what, um, you know, I don't recommend it, but I mean, I guess you can do it. So you want to save it. Uh, let's just go to edit. I don't really give a shit. Save, blah, blah, blah. File, open, just open it up again. And now we're going to duplicate it. And now we're going to go to filter, other, and high pass. Now, I don't know what the hell this shit does, but it just looks like the photo pops out more, all right? So, we're going to put this shit down a little bit. Uh, I'd say around 6. Yeah, 6. 
and then we're gonna put it on overlay now as you guys can see it sharpens out the photo um I mean it looks a little cooler this is with it and this is without it it's up to you guys what you want to do if it's too much and obviously lower their opacity but again it's up to you guys um, I didn't really do it on my final product which is I'm gonna show you guys real quick so as you guys can see this is the final product of um, my other one that I did and uh, of course the first one you always do it's gonna look cooler than the tutorial one but um, as you guys can see I didn't do that high pass shit I, I did do the script uh, the font script and um, you know uh, I messed up on the um, black and white shit but that in my opinion makes the photo look a lot cooler and a lot of you guys really did like this and y'all guys wanted a tutorial and you know if you're this guy and you think it's easy then go ahead and do that shit if you want but I just showed it just in case you didn't know how to do it so uh, yeah that's basically been the video guys please make sure you guys do follow me on Instagram strong skins and Strong's graphics, um, as you guys can see here, I post my simple edits, I guess, um, you know, as you guys can see here, and also, like, designs, I guess, I mean, I guess you can call this a design, but, uh, you know, this is where I'm mainly active on, because I post almost every day, just because I really love editing and shit like that, but whenever, like, a good edit comes around, just like this one, I post on Strong Skin, just to get a lot more attention out of it, as you guys can see here, for some reason, Every time I do a dope-ass new style, it's on LeBron James. I don't know why, but, I mean, this dude is so easy to edit. Like, look, I did this, uh, where was it at? Oh, shit. All right, well, I did this style with him. Um, actually, nah, Peterson was the first one. But that's basically been a video. Um, once again, make sure, make sure you follow me on Strong Skin, Strong Graphics. Also, subscribe if you guys are new. Please like if you did enjoy and you want more. Peace the f*** out. Kind of clothing deals I feel for the currency. Pop a half a bill and chill on my ice is currently. Flames ain't rich of me, I had.